Imposter syndrome. It is one of the things that you get to experience as you grow older. It is a common psychological phenomenon that affects many people, especially in the fields like software engineering where there is a high level of expertise and competition. It is the feeling of inadequacy or self-doubt that comes from believing that you are not as capable or qualified as others, despite evidence to the contrary. Software engineering is a constantly evolving field that requires continuous learning and adapting to new technologies. And because of this, it is not uncommon for software engineers to feel like they are constantly behind or that they don't have the skills or the knowledge needed by the industry. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy. In addition, the high demand for software engineers and the competitive nature of the industry can create pressure to constantly perform at a high level. This pressure can exacerbate imposter syndrome as individuals may feel like they are not good enough or that they don't belong in the field. Some companies do not help with this problem because some of them exaggerate the requirements. For example, this company is looking for a junior developer, and in their job description, you need to have at least 10 years of experience in C++, 15 years in Python, and 20 years in CSS. And here you are, you are just 21 years old and you just finished your bachelor's. Imposter syndrome can have negative impacts on a person's well-being. It can lead to low self-esteem, anxiety, and even depression. Well, I'm just, uh, I've had this flu forever, it seems like. Are you depressed? Many individuals, including myself, can relate to this statement. There are many stories about how programmers were able to get into Silicon Valley without finishing their bachelors. They did not even take computer science, yet they managed to get a job. And here you are, you finished your bachelors and masters, and you don't have a job. These people must be very good, right? On the other hand, there are stories where companies will only accept applicants if they finished computer science. That's where you sent your applications. And then you received a response. You are rejected and they picked a better candidate. So you must be very bad now, right? This outcome made you think about so many things about yourself. What's the point of finishing computer science? What's the point of solving so many lit code problems? This is one of the reasons why many programmers decided to build their own startup and I'm one of these people. After experiencing hundreds of rejections, you start to realize how much time you wasted just to get a basic salary. And honestly, I'm glad that I received those rejections and I'm happy that I built or started Weekly How. Without Weekly How, I don't think I'll be able to get this far. Yes, I avoided rejections from employers, but now I'm approaching something different or I approach something new. I'm talking about learning new things, learning how to manage a website, learning how to write, learning how to make videos, learning search engine optimizations, learning sounds. All these things I need to learn just to get this far is far more difficult than sending resumes. But still I did it because I know there is a reward for doing this and that is having a good mental health or having the freedom to do whatever I want on my own time without a pressure or without a boss because I am the boss. So now I'm the one who's going to make or write job descriptions or job posts and now now I'm going to write ridiculous requirements. I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So I guess the lesson here is don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid of failures. And also don't be afraid to try new things. I know it's going to be difficult. I have experienced it. It's very, very difficult. But if you really want it, what can you lose? Today, social media is getting more and more popular. We get to see more quote-unquote perfect people and by that i meant those people who seems to be having a perfect life like they have an amazing job where all they do is drink coffee we see this type of content everywhere for average human beings like us it looks like these people do not have any problems these are the type of people they'll make you look unworthy or incapable you keep comparing yourself to these people and use them as an excuse that if they manage to be where they are, you can do it too. But sadly, you can't. Doing so, you become what they call perfectionist, also known as an imposter. 
But is that a bad thing? Should you just be happy of who you are and what you can do? The problem is, as the world orbits around the sun again and again and again, the level of expectations from people around you gets higher and higher. And that is because other people get better and better. Why would this person even pick you when this other person knows it better? This brings back what I mentioned earlier, the feeling of inadequacy or the feeling of being left behind. Because of the rapid changes around the world, people are forced to change. Now let's go back to the question, is being a perfectionist a bad thing? Perfectionism can be a positive or a negative trait. On the positive side, it can motivate an individual to work harder and strive for excellence. But on the other hand, being a perfectionist can make a person overly critical of themselves. This is not good, especially if you have an imposter syndrome. If you're a perfectionist and you fail to do a task, it's relatively easy to blame yourself and your abilities. The imposter syndrome is a massive issue, and it's not just about careers for the most part. It can be about relationships too. All in all, it's a human problem. If you think this video is talking about you or I'm attacking you, that's not the case. I've written this video because I myself is considered to be an imposter. As someone who makes videos and write codes, I tend to always compare my work to others. Hence, I buy the things that I think will make my work better. Better cameras, better phones, better lenses, better computers, the list just goes on and on and on. I think this is one of the positive effects of this phenomenon, that it makes you feel that you need to do better than what you did in the past. I've had this quote-unquote perfectionist personality ever since I was a kid, and because of that, I was able to improve many things in my life. However, the more I climbed my way up, the more I realized that no matter what I do, there's going to be someone better than me, and I think that's okay. At the end of the day, nobody is perfect, and no matter how much effort you put into yourself, you'll never be perfect. Understanding imposter syndrome is relatively easy. But getting rid of it completely is a different task. To finish this video, I want to share this quote by Albert Einstein. The more I learn, the more I realize I don't know. If you're looking for answers or solutions, I have bad news. I don't know. All I know is, we're all looking for answers together. Life is difficult, whether you are who you are, or you're someone better, you'll have this feeling of self-doubt. But of course, I don't know, man, I'm just making videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, I've been working on this project or this video project for weeks and I'm glad that I managed to finish it. In fact, this is one of the goals that I wanted to, you know, achieve It's 2023 and, you know, it's it's going well. It's really going well, so I'm really happy about that. What else am I about to say? yeah just thank you i hope you guys enjoyed it don't worry there's gonna be more uh, videos to come that's just like this i'm working on other stuff as well i'm working on tutorials i'm working on continuing the shopify theme development course um, there's plenty of questions going here and there and i want to cover those as soon as possible um, but i'm sorry if it's taking so much time i have so many things to do and yeah, sorry for the delays. But yeah, I'm working on that. Uh, before I end, I want to um, say something because uh, I finished this video and I received a comment from Mr. Amit Jaiswal. I don't know if I pronounced your last name right or your first name right, but thank you for your comment. He said, thank you so much for your Shopify videos. They always help. And he made some pointers or questions and I think I can just cover this in a separate video. Maybe in the future I can make a reading your comments video. I don't know. Let me get like let me But yeah, thank you for the comments. Thank you for watching this video until the end. I sincerely appreciate that. All of it. So thank you, thank you. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.